I'm waiting for an answer, Mrs. Sally. Hey everyone, it's Cox, and today we're gonna see a very controversial topic. In the last couple of days, a Christian couple in the UK decided to withdraw their son and sue the school that he was attending because a kid was transgender. Let's see the video and see what they have to say and let's discuss it after that. Let's go! Well, when he got home from school one day, he said, Daddy, I'm confused. I, and I hadn't taught him that word. He said, Daddy, I'm confused. Wait, wait, stop it there. You hadn't taught him the word. Do you mean confused or transgender? So for the kids' information, let's see the definitions for both confused and transgender. Help us Google. Confused. A person unable to think clearly. She was utterly confused about what had happened. Okay? Let's see what transgender means. Transgender denoting or relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender does not correspond with their birth sex. Okay, let's continue. There's a boy in my class who says he's now a boy but then sometimes he's a girl. Um, so that was the, the, the first time that um, mm. you know, I, I found that there was an issue there and I was, I was concerned by that. And then I think we then took our son out uh, how, how long after that was Wait. it? Why were these two parents concerned about the other kid? You know the time. So a few months later, uh, he just becoming increasingly unhappy at school to the point where he was under stress and was, you know, I don't want to go mm -hmm. to school, I feel sick, or during the holiday, how many more days until school? We talked to the head, we talked to the the teacher concerned um, and they basically said we have no choice this is we have to accept this stop again have you ever thought that maybe the kid is stressed because of you because you try to teach him that it's a blue and pink world and nothing in between but maybe if you taught him that he needs to be whoever he wants to be and he needs to respect each other for who they are Maybe he could be more happy. Hmm? Uh, otherwise, I could even lose my job, which we're like, that's crazy. We need to think about, we need to seek some advice about this because this doesn't seem right. And that, is that really the law? Wait, what doesn't seem right? A teacher respecting all the kids of the class? Yes, it doesn't seem right. So um, we then went to the legal, Christian Legal Centre to get some advice. And we wrote a letter to show our concern, but the letter we got back was very, very staunch to the point it was like, if you don't accept that this boy is a real girl, then you are deemed transphobic. If you don't say that this boy is a she or, you know, and use those things, then you're classed as transphobic. And that's imposed on us and on our yeah. children. And it goes totally against what we believe and yeah. our values. And we felt like... What, what do you believe? And what are your values? I'm waiting for an answer, Mrs. Sally. We're being discriminated against. We're not being listened to. We're not being heard about mm. what, what our beliefs are, what we, we're doing. It's almost like it's swung completely yeah. the other way. This, this needs to go to government. It needs to be discussed. It needs to be debated. You know, the, the, the science behind it, you know, of gender dysphoria, I think there needs to be a, a more in-depth, mm. um, yeah, check on it, really. Uh, because we're talking about children. Yes. You know, safeguarding. It's about children. I'm not talking about adults. I'm talking about children. That. So very, very young, um, and that, that that is our genuine concern. Mm. Whether people agree with that or not, it's a genuine concern. And it's done, and it is done through you know a genuine heart of love and care for everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. About love and care for everybody, except that kid. So let's get some facts down. There's a Christian couple who sends their kids to a Christian school. In that school, there's a boy who decides to wear a dress. First of all, everyone should wear whatever the fuck they want to. 
Second of all, he says that he's talking about children and not adults. Adults can do whatever they want to. But what about kids? I know that maybe you will say that kids don't know how to express their feelings, their personality. But what if it's us who don't know how to express our personalities? Because we try to put ourselves in boxes of blue and pink. What if you teach your kid to love everyone? That will help you and that will solve your problems. I know that as Christians you have some rights, but please tell me how can a kid who expresses their personality, their gender identity, without harming your kid, violate your right? Maybe your kid is confused and unhappy because of what you taught them. Have you ever thought? The kid needs to be open-minded. Because it's not just a word, Mr. Nigel. It's the lives of many people in our world that needs to be respected and they need to have equal rights as you. You withdraw your son from a school just because a transgender kid exists there. Do you realize that it's nonsense? We need to let the kids decide how they want to express their personality without giving them labels. You said that your kid was unhappy. Have you ever thought how the other kid feels? That's all for today. What do you think? Are these parents transphobic? Or is the kid violating their rights? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel for more new videos every Thursday and Sunday. Goodbye for now. See you soon. Bye. Woo.